right, you guys. So I thought I'd go ahead and do my no cap Sunday review while I'm waiting for my husband to come out the dollar store. Okay. So today was, um, my dad didn't preach, but we did have another minister to preach today. And he preached from Matthew 9, 27th verse through the 29th verse. And his title was, said I wasn't going to tell nobody. So it was a pretty good sermon. Um, usually I don't do no caps on uh, anybody but my dad's sermons or maybe, you know, a guest or something like that. But anyway, this one was really good. Um, he talked about some things that really stood out to me were um, when he talked about there are people that follow Jesus, not because they necessarily believe in him, but because they want something from him. That was a very good, you know, outlook of things sometimes. Um, and then he began to talk about how some people are around you, not because they truly care about you, um, but because they want something from you. And I thought that was very interesting because this week I was talking to one of my best friends about how I'm just kind of over um, having those uh, conversations where it starts off saying, how are you? And then I say, oh, I'm okay. And I may start talking about some stuff. And then for the rest of the time, I'm listening to someone else's problems. I never can really just um, depend on that person to be a listening ear for me or a bouncing board or be there for me not necessarily financially or anything but just emotionally there just to be able to have a regular conversation you know you have those people that you it's like you have to mentally be prepared to talk to you know um a lot of times i find myself when i'm trying to hit the reset button in my you know my psyche there are certain people i just cannot talk to because i have to be um whole mentally to take on all the stuff that they're bringing to me and so that made me think about that when he said that how sometimes people will call you and they don't really care about what you got going or who you are as a person they want to know what you can do for them listen to me listen to what I got going you know or you know they need something from you and I thought that was very interesting in parallel to you know a lot of people following Christ um not because they truly believe in him um, but because they want something from him in comparison to us and our lives. So I thought that was really interesting. And then of course, you know, with the title said, I wasn't going to tell nobody, of course you add to that, but I couldn't keep it to myself. So, you know, we talk about, you know, when you get saved and, and I went back to thinking about when I was nine, I got baptized when I was nine years old. And I could not wait to go back to school to tell everybody that I was changed and that I had been baptized, okay? Um, I had such zeal then, you know. And, you know, just thinking about that, something so good, you know, why wouldn't you want to tell? And then even some instances in the Bible where Jesus did healing and he would be like, well, don't tell anybody, you know. But those people couldn't keep it to themselves because it was so powerful something so powerful that changed their lives that they wanted to tell other people if you had something so powerful happen to you if if yesterday in a, a minister that came to preach for the pastor's anniversary a few weeks ago said this if someone gave you a million dollars just said hey take this it's yours how long would it be before you stop talking about it not never okay so god you know we have salvation through jesus christ you know and why would we ever stop talking about that so i thought it was a really good sermon those are the things that i took from it that's where i went in my mind with it and and you know i like to try to take the sermons and relate them to my life and how i can use it um and how it impacted me when i heard it or what i heard but that's our no cap sunday review you guys i am going to head to my family's house i hope everybody's having a safe weekend a good weekend hitting the reset button getting ready for this week and i will see you guys soon